huge fire off Pacific Highway this morning. The smoke visible for miles. Look at this video that we got from Sky 10. And it started just after 8 this morning, and 10 News anchor Mary McKenzie is there now as firefighters are still on the scene. The good news is no one was inside the building. We're just a little bit northeast of Lindbergh Field here, and they just declared knockdown a little less than an hour ago, and they're working to ensure none of the hot spots flare up since it's simply not safe for any of the firefighters to be inside the building. The whole building will have to come down. The building houses Deco's auto shop and a boat repair business, both completely engulfed in flames this morning and a total loss. Firefighters attack this two alarm fire with a huge column of black smoke from the ground and from above. But to do that, they had to let the roof burn, massive flames consuming it until they could stage a full assault from above. Since they can't put people inside a structure that's collapsing, they had to get the building into a position to put that fire out from up above. They also worry about the walls of the building collapsing. The owner of the auto shop, Deco, could only watch in shock and with tears in his eyes as he explained that he doesn't know how the fire started this morning. Oh, on the freeway, I see the smoke, but I don't know, it's my shop. Firefighters don't know what the cause is yet. It does appear to have started in the auto repair shop. And in all, 75 firefighters, about 20 fire apparatus, working together to provide a glimmer of beauty amidst the destruction. Firefighters say they will be out here for at least a couple more hours. Investigators have arrived to uh, begin what could be a lengthy investigation. No way to know this early on what might have caused the fire. More downtown, Mary McKenzie, 10 News.